As we head into planting season, it's important to make sure that you are refreshed on how to properly set up your Gen 4 4600 or Gen 4 4640 universal display for planting documentation. First, click on the Setup button at the bottom left-hand corner. On this page, you will notice that the layout is different from what we previously called our work setup in the Green Star family of displays. Our G or Resources tab is now replaced with the Location section. Our H or Equipment tab is now replaced with the Equipment section. And our I or Documentation tab is now replaced with the Work Summary section. First, tap anywhere on the Location section. In this section, you will need to select what client, farm, and field profile you are going to plant. Because we have boundaries loaded, our display is automatically detecting fields that are close by that it thinks we might be in. If you are not seeing your field show up on that list, simply select View All at the bottom left-hand corner. From this page, you can tab through your client, farm, and field lists. If you brought in a setup file, you should see all of this information pre-populate for your farms and fields. If you did not bring in a setup file, simply click the New Field button at the bottom of the page to add a new location. Once you have selected the correct client, farm, and field profile, select OK. Next, tap anywhere on your equipment section. First, we want to make sure that our self-propelled implement or tractor is set up correctly. Select the tractor and then select the pencil or edit icon. Make sure that your profile name is easily readable for you to recognize which machine you are selecting. Your tractor type should auto-populate. Next, select the GPS offsets box. On this page, you can see a visual diagram of the three GPS offsets that are required for your tractor. It's important to measure these offset measurements every year before hitting the field to ensure that they are accurate. Once you have measured your offsets and entered them in the correct spaces, select OK. Scroll down and ensure that your connection type and offsets are correct for your machine. Once you have verified that all information is correct, select Save. Select OK. From your Equipment tab, select your Planter icon. Again, you can rename your planter profile to make it easily recognizable for you. Ensure that your connection type and pivot offset, if applicable, are correct. Scroll down and select the Working Width box. You want to make sure that your number of rows, as well as your row spacing width, are correct for your planter. Select OK. Next, select the Dimensions box. Similar to the tractor, you want to make sure that you measure your offset measurements, or in this case, dimensions, every year to ensure that they are correct. Once you have entered the correct measurements into the boxes, select OK. Scroll down and select the Work Point box. This measurement is slightly different from that on the Green Star 2 or Green Star 3 displays. In this case, you want to measure from where the planter is connecting to the tractor back to where the seed drops, or approximately halfway through the gauge wheel. Once you have verified that your measurement is correct and entered, select OK. If your planter is equipped with sensors, you can ensure that all of this information is correct as well. Scroll down and verify that any other option settings are correct for your planter. Once you have verified that all information is filled in correctly, select Save. Select OK. 
Next, we are going to fill out our work summary or documentation section. Tap anywhere on the work summary portion of the screen. For this, we are going to enter our planting or seeding operation. We have corn selected, but you can change this to any crop type that you are currently planting. Select the variety box. On this page, you will notice that our variety box at the bottom middle of the screen is empty. Also notice that we are currently set for a single variety configuration. If you are planting two varieties, select the dual configuration. If you are planting anything else, select custom. Once you have chosen your correct configuration, select the empty white box. On this page, if you have brought in a setup file containing your variety information, you will see your list of varieties for that crop populate. If you did not bring in a setup file, select the Add Variety button at the bottom left-hand side. On this page, you can enter in your variety name. Once you have added all varieties that you will be planting, select OK. You'll notice that my planter section bar graph updates to reflect the color of that variety. Once all of this information is filled in and correct, select OK. You can now X out of the Operation Edit box. If your planter is equipped with fertilizer, you can select the fertilizer section to edit this application. Otherwise, you will stop after editing your variety and crop type information. Once all of this information is entered, select OK. You are now ready to record your planting documentation data.